I've had a lot of questions lately about the fiscal cliff and what does that mean to us as, you know, typical average American taxpayers. As of the filming of this video, the fiscal cliff has basically been uh, kick. I guess the term they use is they kick the can down the road for a couple months and they agree that they're going to get back to it at that time. Well, I have my doubts about whether or not they're going to actually be able to make this deal or some sort of deal before the sequestration actually kicks in. And I don't know exactly what it's going to mean to us as taxpayers. If there was actually a government shutdown, it could there would be pros and cons in the area of IRS problem resolution. The pros as I see them is that all IRS collection action would probably stop because the employees wouldn't be at work and they wouldn't be doing very much to uh, collect taxes from people who were delinquent in their tax obligations. Now on the other hand, for our clients who are, you know, have pending installment agreements or even better, pending uh, offer and compromises, it could be really bad and it could really put them through some additional stress. In addition, you know, the courts, the federal courts could be shut down and that includes bankruptcy courts. So I don't think that a government shutdown is actually a very good idea. As far as sequestration, where we basically cut a tremendous amount of money from the budget, including, you know, some half a trillion dollars from defense, uh, the number could even be higher, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that that really actually impacts your average taxpayer, unless of course you work for the Department of Defense, and in which case it could mean that your job was cut, and I'd say that's a pretty big impact indeed. But as far as the fiscal cliff and our taxes going up, our taxes did go up when the payroll tax holiday expired, and so all wage earners taxes went up 2%, and that means about $1,000 extra for your average American family earning about $50,000. As far as everyone else, it goes up proportionally. If you're self-employed, you've never got the benefit of that payroll tax hike, so I don't think it impacts you at all. If you have questions about the fiscal cliff or really anything about tax problems at all, I invite you to visit our website at getirshelp.com.